Hi everyone, today in maths we are learning to collect and represent data. So today I'm going to show you how you can collect your data and then represent that data as a bar graph. Okay, so you will need your sheet. Now I've just drawn mine in my book, but you guys have a sheet which has heads, heads, tails, tails, heads and tails. Okay, so you will need two coins, two silver coins. Okay. So this side, so this side is tails, this side is platypus, and this side is heads. Okay, so this has got the queen's head. So this is heads. Okay, so you need two coins, two silver coins, and then you'll need a cup. Now I've got a plastic cup, which makes a bit better. So don't get a glass one, because hmm, it might sound a bit loud, and you just never know what might happen. Okay, then you'll need your pencil. Okay. So, what we need to do is put our coins in our cups, okay? Then, we're going to roll it out and see what we get. But first, we're going to record these types of data, okay? So we're going to get, see if we can get two heads from our coins, or two tails, or if one of them is heads and the other one is tails, okay? So I'm going to show you a bit of a demonstration. So I've got my coins in my cup, okay? Roll them out like that. Now, oh, I've just rolled two heads. Okay, so I need to make a tally mark. So that's the other thing that you need to learn today. A tally mark. Okay, so I'm just going to put that as one at the moment. Then I'll show you what I'll do next. Okay. Now, oh, I've just rolled two heads again. So, I need to put another one down, okay? Put another strike down. My tally. Okay, so this is recording my data. Okay. Oh, I've got another two heads. Oh, I'm getting a bit lucky here, aren't I? Okay. Now I've got, oh, so now I've got heads and a tail okay so this is my heads or tails okay so i need to put one in there okay again oh i've got another heads and tails okay Let's go again. oh i've got two tails this time so i need to put them in there so two tails look like that okay so there again Oh, I've got a heads and a tail, so I'm going to put that one there. Again. Okay, so I've got tails and the tails. So another strike down there. Got two there. Oh, and, oh, two heads again. So I've got four. Hmm. So I've got four. I'm going to show you what I'll do next if I get another one. Two heads. Hmm, right, heads and the tails. Okay, now what have I got now? Oh, heads and the tails. Okay, so now oh, I've got four heads and tails, but I've got another one, so I've got five. So remember, in, when you're doing tallies, the five goes across like that, okay? So that means five. See that strike in the middle? That means five, okay? So after your four strikes, your fifth one, goes to the middle, so that means five. Okay? Alright, so now I've got five of them. So now let's keep going, okay? Alright, two tails. Okay, yep. Alright, so oh, heads and tails. It's getting pretty popular at the moment in the lead. Oh, put heads and the tails again. I wonder what's just gonna be the most. Heads, tails, or heads, heads, and tails, tails. Okay, so heads, tails. Again, I'm just going to keep going. Nope. Tails, tails. Okay, so I'm going to keep going. Alright. Heads and tails. Okay. Oh, two heads. Now, 
So I've got four, and I'm going to add another one. That is five. Okay. Notice on this one, I just made another four lines, okay? I'll just keep going to the next one, alright? Okay, hook. Two heads. Okay, so there, I'll just keep going to the next. Put a little bit. Oh, two tails. Okay, so I'm at my five. And then we get us, so that's my five. So far, I've got five, ten. 15, 18, 19. Okay. Let's see what the last one's going to be. Oh, tails. Oh, yep. Heads and a tail. So, there. Go ahead. So, once you've done your amount, then you need to count up how many all together in each one. So, this one, I had five, six. So, I had six. And this one I just had five, and in this one I had five, ten, okay, ten, okay, oh, so I rolled one more extra, okay, but that's okay, so, heads and tails was the most popular, so, right now I'm going to show you how we can represent this data that we've collected into a graph, okay, because good mathematicians they can use their data to turn something into a graph.